Good day dear students. We are now at Polynomials Chapter 6. In this video, we will be covering the second subtopic 6.2 Remainder Theorem, Factor Theorem and Zeros of Polynomials. Let's look at our learning outcome for this subtopic. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to relate the remainder and factor theorem to solve problems find the roots of the equations and the zeros of a polynomials. So what is remainder theorem? If a polynomial px is divided by a linear factor x minus a, the remainder is p of a. We can look at the proof given here. Let px be a polynomial of degree n where n is more than equals to 2. Then we can write px as qx multiply x minus a plus rx. We have learned this in division. When x is a, when we substitute a into our polynomial, the remainder will be 0. Therefore, we can say the remainder ra equals to pa. If px is divided by x plus a, then the remainder is p of negative a. Whereas, if Px is divided by Ax minus B, then the, and then the remainder will be P of B over A. Now, let's look at example 7. Find the remainder when Px, x to the power of 4 plus x to the power of 3 and so on, is divided by x plus 3. From our notes, we know that the remainder Rx is equals to Px. And now, we're going to divide by x plus 3, which means we're going to substitute with negative 3 into the polynomial. Let's check what is our remainder when we substitute with negative 3. So, negative 3 to the power of 4 plus negative 3 to the power of 3 minus 2 multiply negative 3 to the power of 2 plus 4 times negative 3 minus so, when we calculate this, we will be getting 81 minus 27 minus 18 minus 12 minus 5. Therefore, the remainder is 19. Now, let's look at example 7b. Find the remainder when the polynomial is divided by 3x minus 1. So, we're going to use the same concept. The remainder equals to the polynomial when we substitute the value of 3x minus 1. So, Rx equals to, we're going to substitute the value of x in this case which is 1 over 3. So, when we substitute 1 over 3, we will be getting 1 over 3 to the power of 4 plus 1 over 3 to the power of 3 minus 2 times 1 over 3 to the power of 2 plus 4 times 1 over 3 minus 5. So, we are going to calculate this and after we calculate, we will be getting the remainder negative 311 divided by 81. So, this is the remainder theorem. How we find remainder when we are given the divisor? We just need to substitute the value of x into the polynomial to find the remainder. Let's look at example 8 when x to the power of 4 plus kx to the power of 3 plus 5x square minus 6x minus 8 is divided by x plus 2 the remainder is 16 determine k. So it's very important for us to know that the given x to the power of 4 plus kx to the power of cube and so on is our polynomial divided by x plus 2 is our divisor remainder is 16 is the remainder rx okay students now we're gonna find the value of k since we are given the divisor and the remainder to find the value of k we will substitute the divisor x plus 2 into the polynomial so we know the remainder equals to the polynomial. So given remainder is 16 and the polynomial is 
x to the power of 4 plus kx to the power of 3 plus 5x to the power of 2 minus 6x minus 8. The remainder is 16 when this polynomial is divided by x plus 2. Meaning, I'm going to substitute the value of x equals to negative 2 into the polynomial. So, the remainder equals to negative 2 to the power of 4 plus k negative 2 to the power of 3 plus 5 negative 2 to the power of 2 minus 6 times negative 2 minus 8. So, we're going to calculate this. Negative 2 to the power of 4 will be giving us 16 minus 8k plus 20 plus 12 minus 8. From here, we will be able to find the value of k. So, k equals to 3. Okay, students. So, this is how we use remainder theorem to determine the value of k. So, students, I hope you have achieved our learning outcome, which is Relate the remainder and the factor theorem. That's all for this video. Thank you, students.